So now in this video we're going to modify a PMP bipolar junction transistor switch. So we got the emitter here and the way it's wired up usually this transistor is off and we have a high input there, 5 volts. And so the PMP bipolar junction transistor stays off. If we connect to ground there, so a low input to the PMP bipolar junction transistor wired as a switch, then you can see we'll have a small current path through the 10 kilo ohm resistor there allowing many multiples of current to go from emitter to collector and through the load. The load will limit the current because the transistor is conducting so well we're going to use a 23906 so we'll have the current set by 5 volts with uh, an LED being protected by 220 ohms right there. So now in order to uh, connect to ground instead of having our input connect directly to ground we added a transistor right here a NPN bipolar junction transistor. So it's like the 2N3906, just opposite polarities. It's NPN. So it turns on with a high input. So normally we'll have a low input here. It's going to be held down. That will hold the transistor off, which will hold the PNP bipolar junction transistor off. If we close the switch, then we'll have a direct connection to 5 uh, volts right there. That resistor won't matter anymore, other than a little bit of current uh, trickling through. But in any case, we'll have a high input there. The NPN bipolar junction transistor will turn on, which will allow the PNP bipolar junction transistor to turn on. So now the PNP bipolar junction transistor turns on when our input is high, instead of having the input go low to turn it on. So here we are on the board, 2N3906 PNP type bipolar junction transistor. Flat side is facing to the left, as you may be able to see right there. That means that the top pin is the emitter, middle pin is the base, and the bottom pin is the collector right there. So we do a number of these circuits. I'll kind of rush through this. 220 ohm resistor to protect the LED from 5 volts when the transistor is conducting fully. And a 10 kilo ohm resistor from the uh, base to the rest of the circuitry. So now scooting over that base resistor for the PMP bipolar junction transistor comes to the collector of the NPN bipolar junction transistor and a pull up resistor. So just in case you got a little trouble seeing that, you can see uh, the top there. That is the collector. We'll come back and then to the pull up resistor, 10 kilo ohms again to the positive supply right there. So this is the NPN bipolar junction transistor 2N3904. It's facing the other way but has the same pin layout as the 2N3906. So since it's facing the other way, emitter is to the bottom. That's connected directly to ground, as you can see there. Base in the middle will come to that, and then the collector on top. We already talked about that, the base resistor and the pull-up resistor, as you can see there. So now we're going to scoot over a little bit more and look at the base of the NPN bipolar junction transistor, how I wired it up. So we got a 10 kilo ohm resistor coming up to this switch, because uh, switches really only fit in uh, certain spots really well. And uh, so uh, there's the base middle pin going up to the transistor switch as well as a pull down resistor. So even though it's working its way up, it's actually a pull down resistor because it's going to ground. The switch, when I close it, doesn't matter what side it's on, I have the jumper on that side, will connect directly to the positive supply. So right now you can see we have a pull down resistor, a low input, the LED is off. Even though it's a PMP bipolar junction transistor switch, if I close the switch, we have a direct connection to the uh, positive supply there. Current limited through a resistor though, but in any case, the uh, transistor is fully on there. And thus, that the PMP bipolar junction transistor is fully on, unless I make it loose connection. As long as I close the switch, give a high input, the LED is on, low input, LED is off. The opposite of how a PMP bipolar junction transistor normally works. So, in any case, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. If you can, please donate. I have links down below. That would help out a ton. But otherwise, it helps that you watch videos. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.